This project is my first nuclear power device. I had never even heard of a nuclear powered beta voltaic battery until I came across NerdRage's video on YouTube. I'll put a link to his video in the description under this video, so be sure to check that out. He has a very detailed video. He goes over the build as well as a lot of detailed information on its power output. A beta voltaic generator puts glowing tritium between amorphous solar panels to create a steady and constant energy output. Now we're not talking about very much energy here. I'm able to get two to three volts, but with my most sensitive microamp meter, I can just barely bounce the needle. So this is very little energy. In fact, I wasn't even able to light up a single LED without using the SGRL circuit to pulse the LED. And then I was able to get some observable output. Now I really enjoy challenges and I have a lot of experience building small motors that run on microamps of current, sometimes even under one microamp. So I'm going to use every trick I know as well as invent some new ones and try to make a small motor that can be powered with this beta voltaic battery. These beta voltaic generators have been around for a while and you can even buy one new ready to go from AliExpress for 2100 bucks. These things are pretty easy to make. I use the solar panels from the popular solar dancing flowers. I took four of them and connected them in series to step up the voltage. I used eight three by 25 millimeter tritium vials from betamaster.com. I'll put a link to them in the video description. You just contact them using the email address on the bottom of their webpage and they're very easy to work with. I wanna say thanks to Nerd Rage for sharing this on his YouTube channel. It really inspired me to try it and see if I could get it to power a device. I'm really looking forward to the challenge of getting this to run a small motor. So that's it for this video update. Let's all keep experimenting. Talk to you later.